Now, all eyes are on the general elections in Sri Lanka as the campaign for the polls ended last night. And the island nation has now moved into a silent period during which all campaign activities until election day stand prohibited. Now, the polling for the general elections will be held on the 14th of November, where about 17 million electorate will exercise their right to vote at over 13,400 polling stations across the country. And about 8,800 candidates are also vying for 225 parliamentary seats for which more than 75,000 police personnel have been deployed across the island. Now, the elections are expected to set the tone for the country's political future under the leadership of President Anura Kumara Dasanayake. Now, Sri Lanka elected the National People's Power, the NPP Alliance candidate. Dasanayake is the president in September this year. Days after assuming office, he dissolved the parliament a promise that he had made during his presidential poll campaign, emphasizing that a new government will be required to reshape the political landscape of Sri Lanka. Now, in the last parliamentary election, this NIK's party had won only three seats in the 225-seat parliament, while Mahindra Rajapaksa's L SLPP had won about 145 seats, and Sajid Premadasa's SJB bagged about 54 seats. And Alliance needs to, of course, win 113 seats to form the government in Sri Lanka. The President Dissanayake aims to expand his three parliamentary seats into a majority in Thursday's elections, which will reflect a shift from Sri Lanka's traditional political parties and alliances towards new ones. Now, the National People's Power, the NPP Alliance, established in 2019 as being led by the People's Liberation Front, or President Dissanayake's Janata Vimukti Perumuna. The opposition leader, Sajid Premadasa's party, Samaji Jana Balavage, is expected to be the NPP's main challenger as some candidates within the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, which is one of the major Muslim political parties, have joined the SJB. Now, the SJB, remember, is a breakaway faction of the United National Party, some members of which will contest under the banner of the New Democrat Party Alliance, under which the former president, Vikram Singhe, had contested the presidential elections. The Sri Lanka Podujuna Perumuna, the party of former President Mahindra Rajapaksa and Gotabaya Rajapaksa, is also fielding candidates, although neither of them are contesting the elections. Now, this and IK had won the presidential election on a populist wave, reflecting the middle class sentiment against corruption and public anger over the island's 2022 economic meltdown. He faced the incumbent president, Vikrama Singhe, Sajid Premadasa of the SJB, and Namal Rajapaksa of the SLPP. Now, this NIK has gained the trust of both domestic and international investors who believe that he can uphold the ongoing reforms. I think the, the president's party, the uh, NPP, um, will emerge victorious uh, from the parliamentary election. The size of their majority, um, obviously, is to be determined based on many other factors, including things like water fatigue and, uh, and other things as well. Um, uh, so I, I think that they will have a comfortable majority. All right, now to give us more updates on this, our correspondent Dasuni Athara is joining us live from Colombo. Dasuni, this is a very crucial election for the people of Sri Lanka. Tell us more. Absolutely. This will be the first time that President Isanaika's popularity will be tested after he became president. And also it will be interesting to see the makeup of the new parliament with a lot of analysts and experts predicting that President Isanaika's uh, party, the NPP, will garner a comfortable majority that is in excess of 113 seats. And it is also kind of interesting to see what the opposition makeup in parliament would look like following uh, this election. All right, we'll have to leave you there. We'll, of course, come back to you, Dasuni. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those updates. This is a crucial election for the people of Sri Lanka, and we need to wait and see as to how, of course, the people of Sri Lanka vote in this election as they choose their leaders. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.